So one of the most infamous questions on the multi-subject part two, one through six practice CST, is the ratio question that asks about first grade to second graders. I know it can be a little bit intimidating, so let's try to solve a very similar question together. At a local elementary school, students choose between a hot lunch or cold lunch. Of the third grade, 70% of students buy hot lunch. And of the fourth grade, 30% of students buy hot lunch. If 40% of all third grade and fourth grade students in the school buy hot lunch, what is the ratio of the number of third grade students to the number of fourth grade students? It wants me to find this ratio number. It's only really giving me information about hot lunch. I don't know the totals yet, but I do know the percentages. Third, third grade, we have 70% of the students buy hot lunch. So whatever 70% of third grade is, that is a number of students that buy hot lunch. If I add that to the percentage of fourth grade students who buy hot lunch, which is 30%, I should be able to get that 40% of all students that buy hot lunch, third and fourth grade combined. So that's 40% is being distributed to both third and fourth grade. Well, I have two variables, and I don't really like working with two variables. I want to try to get them isolated on each side. But I have to distribute this 0.4 first. If I distribute, then I get rid of this parentheses, and it's a little bit easier to work with. So 0.7 third graders plus 0.3 fourth graders should give me whatever 0.4 third graders is plus 0.4 fourth graders. Much better. Let me see if I can get the variables isolated to both sides. I'm going to move my 0.3 third graders from this side to the right side by subtraction. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other. I can also move my third graders to the other side by subtraction. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do to the other. Cancels out. Well, I know 0.7 minus 0.4, 0 0.3, third graders, is equal to, well, 4 minus 0.3, that gives me 0.1, fourth graders. Now, they try to trick you here because it wants me to say, oh, it's a 3 to 1 ratio. Well, these are being multiplied right now. They're not quite alone. I want to get this to be a ratio, so I need to get the variables all to one side, equivalent to some kind of numeric value all on one side. I'm going to end up dividing by 3 to both sides. This will get me t alone. t equals 0.1 f3, but I have a variable right here. I want to get rid of this f. If I divide this entire thing by f, divide that entire thing by f, F's cancel out, I get third grade over fourth grade is equal to 0.1 over 0.3. Every one third grader means there are three fourth graders.